My first was through a child custody case out in Tennessee of a missing boy who was found in Mexico in, a, in Yucatan at an underground camp. So what she's talking about is a missing Clarksville boy found in Mexico, stepfather arrested. This is 2015, August 14th. And the nine-year-old was abducted in Clarksville by his stepdad. He was found safe and sound in Mexico. His stepdad is William Stanley King. I don't think he was in an underground bunker. Um, Christopher King, nine years old, was listed as missing and endangered since February 27th, 2015, when King lost temporary custody due to the child's mother and then vanished with the boy. King had won temporary custody because he had made allegations against the boy's mother, saying she was trying to prostitute the boy through Craigslist. So I don't know how this connects to Summer Wells, but either way. This is when I thought, how many others are missing and in such places? I have traveled all over the world, and when it comes to missing child, they could disappear in many ways by abductions, trafficking, sold, with family members. The way that I thought that I could help was to get their photo of missing flyers in their areas, something like uh, bus stations, park areas, and schools. In listening to the Summer Wells case, the parents speaking, Dawn made many theories on what may have happened to his daughter Summer. Summer just up and vanished from her Ben Hill home without a trace, baffling myself and many. Where did she go? How did she just vanish? Is Summer out there somewhere? During my four months in Mexico, traveling many regions, I thought, what if Summer is here, hidden away, no one knowing she is actually missing? For me to begin to go to various locations, placing her missing poster flyer. When in Tulum, I learned that this was a big area for trafficking as well as selling children from many parts all over the world. In fact, after I had left a beautiful Sinote area, a week later, they literally found eight bodies not too far from where all of us were swimming of people who were trafficked. That scared me a lot. Okay, it appears what she's talking about this time is something from April 26, 2023. Authorities in the Mexican resort of Cancun said Tuesday they are trying to identify eight bodies found dumped at the Caribbean resort. Speaking to the families of missing people, Oscar Montes de Oca, the head prosecutor of the Caribbean coast state of Quintana Roo, pledged to carry out more searches. The bodies were found in searches over the weekend, in which people, in which police looked in the woods and sinkholes and ponds. After the bodies were found, authorities issued a written statement on Facebook urging people not to publish and share on social networks false news because that only damages the image of Quintana Roo. There are more than 112,000 people listed as missing in Mexico, and searches for clandestine grave sites have become more common. What is unusual is that they're now being carried out in Cancun, the crown jewel of Mexico's tourism industry. The dumpy grounds are often used by drug cartels to dispose of the bodies of their victims. Several cartels are fighting for control of the Caribbean coast and its lucrative retail drug trade. The lack of help from officials has left many family members to take up search efforts on their own. Now, the prosecutor said five of the bodies were found at a building site that apparently were abandoned. The bodies had been dumped there between one and two months ago. Three have been identified as people missing previously in Mexico. Another site was a wooded area on the outskirts of Cancun. Authorities found three sets of skeletal remains. They have not yet been identified. The bodies were found in a poor neighborhood 
10 miles from Cancun's beach and hotel zone. So were they in Tulum in the water where you were swimming or no? Because that doesn't make any sense. In any case, similar searches were carried out by Felipe Carrillo Puerto, a town south of Tulum. Volunteer searchers, including the relatives of missing people and especially trained do- and specially trained dogs, participated with that search. Uh, there was nothing. So, what are you talking about this time? Lord knows. Anyway, that warning came in the wake of kidnapping of four Americans in Mexico earlier this month. The State Department posted a level four "do not travel." But there you were, because you brave. But that's not even the bravest thing you did yet. Let's get to that. So there are people who are selling children from many parts all over the world and families who would go underground and pay a lot of money for children. Hello, my friends. Hi. I'm having a cigarette, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, and you will see the and you will see Bartel right in in the street. Tulum is a very beautiful place. Yes, it's high in Bartel. Um, And police are everywhere. You will see how the cartel walking down the street and how the police are all around. I had my meeting with two cartel members, and they are actual members. They weren't scary at all. (laughs) They just looked like normal people. And uh, so one of the main questions I was asking is, would they take a child of Summerwell's age? And what they had said to me is no. They have no use for young children or anything to do with children. They did tell me there are people in the cartel that may take families' children only to scare them and tell maybe they pay their bills or pay up what they have to pay to the cartel in that region. So that made me feel good that I don't think that Summer Wells is with the cartel. We pray that Summer comes home. Okay, wait. So uh, (laughs) that AI voice that you just heard, was that allegedly the cartel guys that you couldn't have a recorder around, but they let you just record that part so that they could say that they hope summer comes home soon? That was, I mean, that was very sweet of them. Um, but did they know you had a recorder and you survived this encounter? You went down and, and spoke to these gentlemen <laughs> and had a conversation about summer and missing trafficked children with the cartel. Do you know what the cartel does to people? (laughs) I mean, I'm just asking if you know what the cartel does to people. 
But you, just this, you know, American, Canadian, sorry, Canadian lady uh, from nowhere, just, you know, you like, hey, excuse me, sir, I need a meeting with the cartel. And they're like, oh, of course, let me, I'm going to grab them. I'll be right back. Yeah, that happened. Okay. I was just wondering. Talk about children's services and um, adoption places and how people may wonder why I couldn't give any receipts. Well, basically, number one, there is absolutely no way that you can film children, whether it's at a school, whether it's at a playground, even a pool where they're swimming. The police kind of watch out for that too. Like I know that one time I was sitting, just casually sitting at the beach on my lawn chair and there was a man who was filming little girls and the police saw that and went up and stopped them because we just don't know. Like there's creepy minds out there. So the reason why I could not show receipts is because of the nature of where I was at into children's services in those regions, going into adoption agencies and far to all the dangerous, dangerous zones. An area of Mexico where in it's really bad. And uh, so in regards to me telling you what I had done, I ha only can you go on my word. I'm not here to play games or give me this information and I'm only here to share with you my experience and what I learned. I cannot drop a receipt to going to children's services or going to these people or anything like that. There are a few people that were willing to give me interviews but I hesitated on that because I also have to remember that whatever I am doing and all that could be very dangerous for me too. You know, you're going in and when you learn there's a corrupt world out there, there's an underground out there, black market out there. Are you going to record it? Are you going to record the person who's telling you? I will say this much is when I was going out and asking in regards to Summer and if anybody knows anything or has seen her, I will let you know that everybody had said that if she shows up at my school, if she shows up at my community, if she shows up at a foster home, if she shows up on an adoption list, they will call it TBI because that's what they gotta do. I can't, they don't call me. I just am giving the information. It's just like, if you have a tip, you call. So that is the good thing about everything I have done is at the very least, if somebody happens to hear or see or say, they can say something to TBI, not to me. Well, thank God for that. We would not want them to do that. We would want them to contact the TBI. Um, I think you're a liar. I don't think you did any of this. I don't think you talked to anybody, and I don't think you hung up Summer's posters. How about you just stop lying and leave Summer's case out of it? How about that? That would be great.